Then the Wi Fi. Yeah. Oh, it started. Hi, my name is Maya, and I'm the interpreter for California State Parks. And I'm here to talk about some regalia and some necklaces. So. I'm gonna wait to see if anybody gets on. Oh, we have two. So right here, these are just a few necklaces I kinda wanted to show off cause I don't think we've shown too much regalia on our, our days that we talk about um, native culture in this area. So these are some special necklaces that are special to me. And this one is black abalone. And this is actually a necklace that I made. Probably hold one at a time. <laughs> so this makes a lot of noise. Um, this is black abalone with um, some pine nuts. And this is, um, I think about a year old, or two years old. I made this not too long ago. This is something that was special to me and I wanted to show off some um, necklaces and that they can look many different ways. So this is the one that I want us to talk about because this one is super special to me and it's dentelium and like kind of crystally beads. You can see. And some uh, white beads. And this necklace was made by um, a lot of people in my family. So more than one person worked on this necklace. And this is a necklace that was made for my flower dance. And uh, a lot of people came to my flower dance that are from out of state. That's my family. So it was super, uh, senti this is super sentimental to me because uh, a lot of my, uh, my uncles and my aunties and my, um, my grandma on my father's side helped uh, create this necklace which is kind of a bulky necklace compared to maybe like a, a two strand necklace that's kind of like um, this. Like, sorry, got some stuff tangled up like this. So these two compared side to side, there's a big difference. This one's a two strand and this is a 20 strand. So this, I think this took about a week to make um, with my flower dance, it was kind of rushed, so we had to rush a lot of things, but this, it's, it's, um, kind of like layered. You can see the front. They can't hear me. Um, I'm gonna keep going but these these necklaces are super important to me because it shows that uh, all my family came together and did something to together as a collective for me and it shows that uh, my family cares about me so these are just some sentimental things that um, are important to me and that I kind of keep around in my day-to-day -day life so I just came on here on Facebook Live to talk about these things and I'll show the necklaces one more time. Um, so with this, these necklaces, uh, I know that my uncle, he, he, uh, there's a question that said, did, did each, does each person make a strand? Um, I know he made uh, the, a, a lot of this necklace so he made maybe like 10 or 11 strands and my mom made quite a few I remember her staying up late in making this and I come out and she she's sitting at the kitchen table I think there was one more question that was it okay so <laughs> this one was kind of uh, an informal Facebook live but I do want to 
um, talk a little bit about what's going on in the world. So there's uh, we're here in the park so that you guys don't have to be here and that you guys can keep your distance from other people. And so we here in state parks are doing our part in staying six feet away, wearing masks, using hand sanitizer, washing our hands. And so I just wanted to thank all of you guys who watch our Facebook lives every day at three o'clock. And thank you for supporting us on North Coast Redwoods. And I see there's um, two more questions that popped up. What are the what are the materials used? So for this one, dantelium shells, and we get those locally uh, from a uh, sea around us, which is a store in Trinidad, and it's a little shop with lots of uh, shells and beads. And then the other little um, beads are just glass beads that you can find in most stores, in bead stores. Um, and then in this necklace, it's a mixture of uh, glass beads, black glass beads and clear glass beads, and then abalone shells, and then pine nuts. And those uh, we gather ourselves. And so that, um, that those last questions, thank you for asking them, and so, I think this is going to be the end of my live. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys at three tomorrow.